The Swell Pro Spread Plus is definitely a unique drone. Now this thing is a GPS drone that is waterproof and has a 4K camera. That sounds pretty awesome, uh, but it actually sounds even better when you think that it's stabilized 4K footage and it has some flight modes like follow me, waypoints, orbit, and return to home. Now, you can take off from the water. This drone is waterproof and the remote is waterproof, so it sounds like it's got a whole lot going for it. You get the drone, battery, remote, charger, case for about a thousand bucks. What could go wrong? Maybe you're into fishing, or maybe you're into boating, and you're looking for a waterproof drone. There aren't a whole lot of options out there, but the Spry is one of them. So let's talk about what it actually is. So it's a waterproof drone with an IP67 waterproof rating. That means you can basically submerge it for up to a half of an hour. Now it floats, the remote floats, so both of those are big bonuses. Now the camera is a 4K camera, or at least it's capable of 4K, at up to 30 frames a second. It shoots 12 megapixel stills. And if you shoot at 1080p like I do, you can do that in up to 120 frames a second. Now, uh, in terms of size, it's 270 millimeters from uh, motor to motor. Uh, diagonally, weighs about 440 grams. And when you add the battery, that'll add another 200 grams. So you are going to have to register this thing uh, with the FAA. The motors are uh, 2206 14 20 kV motors with 30 amp ESC. It has a 500 meter range. Um, the video transmitter is a 200 milliwatt transmitter. Now it does send an analog signal so you can fly this with traditional FPV goggles. It has about a 15 minute flight time and that's very dependent on how you fly and it has a top speed of 18 meters a second. That's about 40 miles an hour. Now it is a dual GPS drone, so it's GPS and GLONASS. Um, and because of that, it has some different uh, features like follow me orbit. Um, and both of those are tied to the remote. So it's gonna follow the remote. It's gonna orbit the remote. Um, you can send it to return to home if you've got a good solid GPS uh, lock and it will do some waypoint things. Uh, but I probably wouldn't recommend that. All right, so we're looking at some footage from the Spry itself. Uh, this is actually recorded in 1080 and it's stabilized. <laughs> As you can see, it's not super stable. So we're not looking at a gimbal here. And we do get some jello, especially uh, on brighter days. You're going to get a little bit more jello. So, you know, I'm not a super fan of this camera. Uh, we'll come back to that. Let's talk about the things that I do like, right? This is a fun to fly drone. Um, you know, skipping across those waves as you saw Chris flying here there earlier. Awesome. Um, super versatile. You can fly it um, like an acro drone if you really wanted to. You can fly it with GPS. Uh, but we found Addy mode to be the best mode. GPS just wasn't super stable. So kind of turning that off, it felt a little bit better flying in acro mode. The camera is sealed, right? It, it's not getting any water in there, which is, um, you know, that's pretty spectacular. Spry out here, sunset, it's windy. I'm probably gonna end up landing in the sand. Not so great, but. Hmm. We're gonna do it anyway, right, buddy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Upside down. See if it takes off. Seems angry. Check this out. The motors don't spin. What? 
the heck happened to me? Alright guys, so the motors are totally locked up. Uh, don't know what's going on there. I turned the drone off, they're still locked up. That's totally bizarre, never seen that before. Let's see what happens. All right, turns out the problem's pretty simple, actually. There's sand in the motors, uh, and the solution is also pretty simple as well. You get a bucket of fresh water, uh, you turn it upside down, and you spin the motors until the sand comes out, and uh, that'll do the trick, and it'll fly again. Just make sure you coat the motors with some silicone. We've got a link down below. Thankfully, the Spry survived uh, to fly another day, and we strapped a GoPro to the bottom of it, right? Why a GoPro? Well, a couple of reasons. Uh, this is the Hero 8. It is waterproof, and it does a really good job of stabilizing the footage, right? The, the quality coming out of the GoPro is, you know, it's 10 times that of the camera on the Spry. Um, and, you know, it just looks nice. There are a lot of different ways you could do this. We angled it straight down uh, because we wanted to get a good perspective of looking into the water. Right, so we're gonna give it a little dip here. You're gonna see it hit the water, and then as it flies up, the water drips off of the GoPro, splash down again, and comes up. You know, it's, that's just fun. It doesn't get old uh, to do that with this drone. Uh, lots of fun here to, to fly this with a GoPro, get some better footage, you know, angle it down, angle it out. Uh, you have some different options if you're gonna fly with a GoPro. Not too bad. I think I might take the GoPro off and do that again. So we're gonna do a quick similar flight, but just using the uh, camera on the Spry. Notice that you can angle the camera. It kind of ratchets down. It's not a smooth motion. Uh, we're gonna put it uh, facing downward so you can kind of see what it looks like and compare that same similar footage uh, to that of the GoPro. You know, it's obviously a little bit more jittery. Um, you get a little bit of jello here in, in the footage, um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it uh, it can take a Duncan, and <laughs> that just is a lot of fun. So, you know, if you're looking for a waterproof drone, maybe you, you're wakeboarder, um, you want to follow a boat, then, you know, this is definitely an option for you. So at the end of the day, though, I really think that Spry is kind of missing the boat, right? It, what it really needs is a Mavic Mini-like gimbal, right? If it had one of those, it'd be worth $1,500 all day. And if it had DJI reliability, it'd be worth $2,000. Who wouldn't want uh, their Mavic to be waterproof and float? That would be awesome, and it's something that should be coming soon, I hope. Hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't already checked out our website, make sure you do so. It's halfgrown.com. We've got everything from FPV to photography. Good luck and happy flying.